Hi there, welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart, the Fen edition. This is Sunday Mass. You're going to Mass. We got in late because we're sitting right up front. Yeah, right up front today. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be the first one to put the money in the plate. So now look, uh, we're standing by. This is as close as we're going to get to being live for you until some things are worked out. Uh, so we are live right now on YouTube. And we are taking your questions and comments below. So if you'd like to leave them, ask them, whatever, go for it. We'll answer them. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. Let's get to some comments from last week's video. Very, very creative on many, many levels. Uh, Ronnie and I will share some of these with you. Phil and Donna, who are a couple who live in Scotland. Ooh. Yep. Uh, and by the way, we've been asking you when you comment to let us know where you're watching the show from. Yes. And we would like to continue doing that. If you haven't already done so, please let us know. Uh, Phil and Donna write, never mind Jimmy Fast. We love watching your show. You are both two top-notch guys, and we are hooked. Have a great weekend, fellas. Wow. Uh, two of our favorite viewers. We sure appreciate that. And might I just say, look, we're just going through these randomly. We're not just picking the ones that are kissing our butt. Right. We love those. Don't get me wrong. It's right. kind of like, you know, uh, um, our, our dream coming to fruition is being able to converse with you in these comments. So uh, don't feel compelled to tell us that we're awesome. We right. like it, but you don't have to. Okay? Well, and if you're truly hooked, there are some 12-step programs you can get into to... You know, men are so smart anonymous. Uh, so. Yes, um, but you're going to need to have insurance for that, Ronnie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we only accept insurance plans. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Check it out. You guys rule. Oh, he's. I'd argue with him, but... When you're right. right, you're right. He's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is, I like this one. It's from uh, Bud One Wiser Ninning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it says, hey, Lou, I disagree. I believe Ronnie is the charming one. I believe you are kind of not afraid to speak your mind, and I'm the same way. <laughs> yeah. Now, I answered him, and I said, hey, I got the trifecta. I'm charming, funny, and good-looking. Dang, Ronnie, you're the you're total package. Got my, got my bases covered. That's what you are, you're the total package. <laughs> uh, and also to Bud, uh, he says that you're giving yourself away, Lou. And so I wrote, in what way does it give me away? I like Jimmy Fast. If you were to check with him, you'd see I still haven't blocked him. <laughs> everybody everybody emailed me this week and they wanted to know, did you block him? No, I don't want to have to block anybody. I honestly don't. So um, he said, I'm so glad you found us. Oh, no, I said that. I'm so glad you found us and that you enjoy the show. Ronnie and I took a blood swear with our pinkies that we would always be honest on the show. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to give it to you straight. If you poke the bear, God help you. <laughs> and I still haven't blocked it. All and the right? bear could fart, so I, would, <laughs> I wouldn't do that anyway. Uh, this one is from somewhere out there, and it's from yesterday. Okay. Uh, the poem is indeed vague, yeah. but there are many words and phrases in the thrill of the chase that point to or describe the treasure location. Uh, I'm sorry, or that describe the treasure. His location, USA, state, confused, and he says Porto Pato Rado, which is Colorado. Yeah, right, yeah. right. And then uh, I went on, thanks for, uh, and then you said, thanks for letting us know where you're watching from. And then I said, uh, I have a childhood friend that lives in Colorado. He worked for Southern Pacific Railroad out here, and then when they closed shop here, they opened, or actually they had one already in Colorado, and so they moved him to Colorado and he's been there for 20 plus years. Thank you for joining us for Sunday Mass today. Mass, if you're not aware, is M M N A R S O S Smart S Mass. And uh, <laughs> good. Uh, somewhere out there, did you see this one? You guys really need a live show. Oh boy, you'd kill it. Yep. Oh yeah. I. You know what? It would be so much fun. That would be a lot of fun to be able to take live phone calls, take live questions. We we really need to try to make that happen somehow. But uh, We need the money. Yeah. We need the money to do it. Yeah. Uh, here's one from Big Whoopi. Big Whoopi writes, I learned something the last few years that a graveyard 
is affiliated or next to a church, whereas a cemetery is away from a structure. Back in the 1700s, there were a lot of homesteads, which you had mentioned, that had family plots away from the home. Right. Hell, I'll bet you a dollar. <laughs> we got a lot of gambling going on in the show. <laughs> well, one of the guys that I bet a dollar, he's from Canada. Oh. So he says his dollar is worth a buck 30 American. I promise to cover the extra 30 cents. And I already told you that Ronnie and I are going in together to pay off this jackpot. <laughs> and we're going to give away a $2 bill. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, this one is from L. Ryder. And he starts out, great show, guys, which thumbs up. Thank you. Uh, you said, thank you, every view is important. Uh, and then uh, you asked where he's watching from, and he said, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, and then you said, hey, that would be handy if we uh, yeah. go to interview Fenn, maybe we can stay with you. We're working on that Fenn interview. In fact, in pre-production today, we talked uh, about we it. Were, we're still working on it, yep. okay? And then I, I kind of closed the statements out. I told him that I spent an afternoon in Albuquerque, at the Hard Rock Casino. There's a Hard Rock Cafe Casino in Albuquerque, or maybe a little outskirts. It's on like a, it's on Indian land or something there, I think is how they get away with it. And then I also went to two different uh, bomb schools in New Mexico. In Socorro, New Mexico, they have something called New Mexico Tech. And it's where we send all of our EOD people. And I had a bomb dog, so we went there for a couple different uh, bomb schools. And I'll tell you, there ain't much in Socorro, New Mexico. I can imagine. Uh, from Kurt Hensley, Kurt says, As always, great show, guys. I'm watching from my couch in Wyoming. <laughs> and on the last episode, uh, we talked about how if you have suggestions on how we might be able to make our show better, uh, keep them to yourself. <laughs> we don't care. No. We're going to do what we do anyway. <laughs> we do uh, we, you do you. And so... Uh, Kurt says, thank you for the invite to your pre-production meeting. <laughs> That's what we said. If you want to come to the pre-production meeting and do all of the research that we have to do, you're welcome. Bring it on. Uh, I, I, if I thought I had some advice on how to make your show better, I would show up. But as it is, I would just poke my head in the door, maybe perform some sort of beer baptism Ooh. and give you a thumbs up. I like it. Keep the great Fen shows coming. Uh, now that's funny. I said, I don't care who you are. Our second nomination for viewer of the week is Kurt <laughs> Hensley this week. You're in the running, Kurt, just because you mentioned beer and that sways things in your favor. Definitely. Uh, I said, be sure to check out some of our non fen shows too. Sometimes they're even more funnier. Glad to have you, Kurt. Uh, and he says he will. And I think he's listening in Wyoming, watching in Wyoming. Oh, yeah, did I? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I may have told him that there's a, a Netflix show that I watch called Longmire. All oh, right, that's it's, based in mm -hmm. Colorado, mm -hmm. and it's that's a great show, boy. If you have Netflix, you should uh, take a look at Longmire. Uh, this, I'm I'm getting an email, I'm uh, a ooh, message here right now from L. Ryder. Yeah. Oh, Gallagher Entertainment. What the heck, Lou? I don't know you like that. Just kidding. I think you guys are great, and I really hope that Forrest Fenn sits down with you for an interview. I had the opportunity to sit down with him for coffee and hot chocolate last month and talk about the book. Wow. And he is a very interesting person. He's just as clever and witty in person as he is in interviews. Keep up the great work. Thank you, L. Ryder. Appreciate Dang, it. Dang, that's just like being live I know. almost. I know, right? Dang. I got, I got chills. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all should send us your uh, texts and emails and comments on Saturday mornings while we're recording this. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is from Michael Miller. Uh, he and This is uh, yesterday. He says, haters will be haters. Yeah. I think all of your shows are amazing. Duh. That's why uh, we do it. The both of you are very down to earth in my opinion. If I meet up with you two, I'd have a beer and with you and talk with you all day long. Granted, I have my own, whoops, I have to read more, have my own solve, but so does everybody else. Doesn't make mine right or wrong, but like you said, unless you get boots on the ground and have treasure in your hands, nobody is finding it and no reason to hate on it. Thank you. That's That makes perfect sense. It sure does. Uh, the proof is in the pudding. Keep rocking the world. Much love to you guys. I get your attitude and your show. Oh, and click like and subscribe. Thank you. Edna, uh, Perviance, and Karen Reinhart write, great introduction, man. 
Uh, last week I did something a little extra special uh, at the beginning of our show. You might want to go back and check it out. It's kind of like a montage of Forrest Fenn and treasures and maps and that sort of thing and the poem. Uh, great introduction. Who cannot love this show? Good, upbeat, enjoyable vlogs. Have you read The Thrill of the Chase book yet, Lou? When you read it, let me know. I will then email you. You may not understand what I am referencing in the book otherwise. Keep up the great show. Study Fence poem. Yeah, I think that's a that's kind of a no-brainer. Did we mention that we couldn't get it at the library, the book? <laughs> yeah. Somebody wants to send it to us, we'll read it. He's cheap. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm cheap. He's even cheaper. Okay? <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, there's one here. Uh, this is another one from somewhere out there. I, I kind of... He wrote Curly Mo and, and you wrote Shemp. Shemp. Uh, and then Larry from uh, Northeast Florida. I have two other brothers. Oh, yeah. Guess their names. Oh, Larry, Daryl, and his other brother, Daryl. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he says, someone out there says, does one drive a Corvette and the other is so charming? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that goes with that saying. Uh, let's see. Okay, and Larry says, Lou, you are correct. I enjoy your shows. You and Ronnie are a breath of fresh air in this cold, fickle hunt. Ignore the negatives. Short shorts aren't for me, and my toilet paper roll feeds from the top. <laughs> and I told him, okay, Larry, flip that toilet paper around, or my OCD won't allow me to sleep tonight. All right, that's all the time that Seriously. we have for you today on Sunday Morning Mass. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Uh, continue to send us our comments uh, below. And also, you know, we always say this, but if for some reason you'd prefer not to leave a comment, but you'd still like to talk to us, you can email us yeah. uh, at any time. Yep. And, you know, I get tons of them. So if you want to send some to Ronnie and send him his way, that's fine, too. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, our Fen Show will be on Friday this week, as always. And we hope that you'll watch some of our other videos Monday, Wednesday. Uh, they come out at 6 a.m. on the left coast and 9 a.m. on the right coast. Don't look at me like that. That's right. Is it? No. Yeah. No, it's... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yep. Yep. Okay. Great. We screw that up every time. <laughs> Come on, man. It's I didn't only... really think about it. It's still kind of early. It is. Yeah. All right, so I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. Thank you for watching Sunday Morning Mass right here on the Meta.